Hey guys, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. I'm not particularly looking forward to doing this, but it's got to be done. So, here I am. I am experimenting. I, I have my children with me. They have been absolutely terrible. I mean, it, it's, it's, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. No! No, wait. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I, I just started the freaking game, Grunt. What the crap? And he was coming up here, too. <laughs> okay, they have been absolutely bad. They've been pulling their bed off of their bed frame and stripping it of... Um, you know, the bed sheets. So, and they've been getting into boxes in their, in their closet. It, it, it the list goes on, honestly. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, man. Where do I go? Uh, I haven't gone down here, have I? I can't see a ding dong thing. Storage? Oh gosh. It's so freaking dark. Okay, no, I need this. Uh, uh, right. Uh. Oh my gosh. So, I'm experimenting seeing if them staying up later, I mean, they basically stay up as long as I do, but just in their room. Help. Where are you? So, whew, okay, um. I am hoping they will. Great, another cell area. Um, I'm hoping it'll give them less time to be bad. So we'll see. I, I'm just... Wait, I've been down here, have I? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. 
Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. What does that mean? Just kidding, I think I know. <sighs> oh. He escaped. Where is he now? Are you talking about me? Also, I'm... down wait is this is this a, an event like I wasn't like something over something over there I couldn't get to before and he just made there made there be a way for me oh man my sanity is not not good I'm crouching. I'm just scared. But if my if my children make any noise whatsoever and it's bothering you, it's only going to be for this episode and the next, maybe. So if you guys don't like it, then I can just shut them in their room when I record this at least. Okay, we're at least not at the dot dot dots anymore. This is storage, right? I don't like it. It's so freaking dark. Okay, we're doing good. What is, oh, awesome. I can go back to the kitchen and I think maybe it's supposed to be for the padlock. But after that, I wouldn't know where to go and what to do next. Okay. No spookies, please. that area <sighs> freaking again okay I think we're good not pop up again going Bleh. smack him right in the face no one I'll be too scared interesting Woo. uh what are we at 
I don't know why it moves my cursor all the way over there. like the thumping and I don't like the chains rattling okay all right I know where I am oh gosh <clears throat> I don't think I've been down here. Ah. Okay. Uh, right, okay. Gonna get that from ya. Uh. Oh gosh, that almost scared me. Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? <sighs> it wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Yeah, don't go into burning houses. Jeez. Don't think there's anything here. Except for the memory. Memory? And tinderbox. Okay, we got a note. Do we have anything else? Okay. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if all it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Okie dokie. Um, for some reason, uh, I was forced into my desktop as it was reading. Oh boy. Okay, uh, 
So I'm not sure if any of that was cut out or not. If it was, I am very sorry. I don't know what that was. I'm not leaving until that music is gone. Okay, we're good. I think. Right. <sighs> okay. I don't like it when it does that. It makes me feel slower. Unless I really am slower when that happens. gonna book it. Whew, okay. Are you kidding? Oh no. He's breaking the door down! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! My, my safety. My safety place. It's a good thing I made this hiding place. Hopefully he goes away. Okay. He's gone. He violated my safety place. So rude. Okay. Glass jar. Oh. Uh, let's see. It's filled with acid. So, there are two places that I could do. One being close to here. And then I guess I could make my way to the other one. The shadow. It's close now. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't like that. Oh. Really? You can't just reach around? Okay. I feel so uncomfortable. But you know what? It's actually time to end it off right here. So, um... This is going to be fun. I will act, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.